everyone. Teacher Abby is back again to give you more fun and interesting learning for our English class. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody are doing good and happy. Where are the K3? Where are the K3? Where are my K3 students? Can you please say, here I am, here I am. Again, where are the K3? Where are the K3? What would you say? Here I am, here I am. Now everybody, let's greet everyone. First, good morning, everybody. Can you put two hands together like this? And let's greet everyone. Good morning. One, two, three. Good morning. Are you happy? Are you happy today? If you are happy, then you will say, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, if you are a little bit sad, then you will say, No, I'm not. No, I'm not. It's okay, right? So again, Are you happy? If you are happy, Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, if you are not happy, what will you say? No, I'm not. No, I'm not. Cheer up if you are sad or not feeling well today. Now, what a wonderful day today. The sun comes up. So today is sunny day. Very good. This week is our 11th week of online learning. This week, our topic is all about shapes. Hmm, interesting topic, right? But before that, let's review first what we had learned last week. Who can help teacher Abby, please? What we had learned last week? We learned letter G. Let's make the sound k, k, right? We have letter H, which make the sound And we have letter I, which make the sound Good job! As well as, we tackled numbers 1, 2, and 3 But for this week, we are going to focus number 3 What else? We learned colors last week Do you still remember it? And we also tackled the colors of the rainbow. There are, how many colors are in the rainbow? There are seven colors in the rainbow, right? Good job. Now, let's review first the letter G, letter H, and letter I. Now, let's start with letter G that makes the sound we have, the last time we have, what is it? Goat. We have giraffe. And we're going to add one more for today. So we have gorilla. Good job. Then, let's move the letter H. It makes the sound. The last time we have the horse. Head. And today we're going to learn hippo. Hippo starts with letter H. Hippo. Good job. Now for the last letter that we are going to tackle this month is letter I, which makes the sound E. -E. And we have iguana. What else? Igloo. And for today we're going to learn ink. Ink starts with letter I. Good job. Now today, let's focus number... What is this? What number is this? Is this one? Is this two? Is this five? This is number... Louder. Three. Everybody can you say it again? Three. Now, we have here the example of three... Grapes, right? So let's count everybody. One, two, three. There are three grapes. Now, 
We have the word three as well. Can we spell the word three? Are you ready? Now help the teacher Abby, please. Letter? Louder. What letter is this? T. Next. H. Next. R. Next. E. And E. Number? Three. Good job. Now, let's have some exercises first. Teacher Abby is going to show you a picture and you're going to count and tell me the right answer. Are you ready now? Okay. How many butterflies? Can you count how many butterflies? Good job. Now, how many shoes? Now everybody, count how many shoes? Are you done? Very good. Now next, how many pencils? Now everybody try to count how many pencils. Very good. Now you learn counting for today. Now, let's review the colors that we had learned last week. Anybody, can you help me? We have color red. Yellow. What next? Pink. What else, everybody? Can you help the child, please? Green. We have color purple, of course. Orange. Blue. What else? We have color white. Color black. And we have color brown. Good job, everybody. Do you still remember the colors that I told you last week? Now, let's move on to our topic for this week. Our topic is all about shapes. Do you still remember it? But before that, let's sing first the shape song. Let's sing along with the music. A circle A triangle A square A heart A circle A triangle A square A heart Can you see a circle? Yes, I can Can you see a circle? Yes, I can can you see a triangle? Yes, I can. Can you see a triangle? Yes, I can. A circle, a triangle, a square, a heart. Can you see a square? Yes, I can. Can you see a square? Yes, I can. Can you see a heart? Yes, I can. Can you see a heart? Yes, I can. A circle, a triangle, a square, a heart. A circle, a triangle, a square, a heart. Great job! Now everybody, these are the shapes. Now everybody, listening ears are on. Tang, tang. Oh, mine is on. How about your eyes? Eyes is widely open. Can you blink it? Blink, blink, blink. Mine is widely open as well. Now are you ready? Now, we have circle. Right? This is a shape of a circle. Now next, what shape is this? Triangle. Can you say it again? Triangle. Next, we have square. Can you say it again? Square. Very good. Next, rectangle. We have, what is this? Heart. Good job. Then we have the star. So this is the shape. 
pay for the star. What else? We have the oval. And then we have the diamond. Very good, everybody. Now let's review it for our vocabulary for today. We have circle, triangle, what else? Square, rectangle, heart. We have star, we have the oval, and we have the diamond. Now, are you ready for some exercises for today? To review if you can identify the shapes that we learned just now. Ready? Roll, roll, roll your hands and say, oh, yes. Now, everybody take a look. Teacher Abby, we're going to show you the shapes. And please help me to identify it. Now, the first one, what shape is this? Good job. Then this one, what shape is this? How about this one? Who can help? What shape is this? And the last shape that I'm going to show you, what shape is this? Good job, everybody! That's all for this week. Teacher Abby will be seeing you back again next week. Now for now, let's wave our hands, wave, wave, wave and say bye. See you again next week. Bye.